हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नितेश तिवारी टेक्निकल हब टुडे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द डिजाइन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ यूनि डायरेक्शनल बग बूस्ट कन्वर्टर यूजिंग पीआई कंट्रोलर विद द हेल्प ऑफ मैटलैब एंड सुम लिंक तो यू व्हाट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ यूनि डायरेक्शनल बग बूस्ट कन्वर्टर यूनि डायरेक्शनल बग बूस्ट कन्वर्टर मींस अ कन्वर्टर अ बग बूस्ट कन्वर्टर इन व्हिच पावर विल बी फ्लो in a unidirectional what it means it means as you see in this figure this is the input voltage this is the output terminal so power is only flow from input terminal to output terminal in, in the next, next video, video lecture i'll discuss, discuss about the bidirectional bulb boost converter, converter in, in which you are seeing that the power will flow in both the direction in bidirectional So let's uh, continue with unidirectional bulb boost converter. This is the duty ratio. This is this is defined the turn on time and turn off time of the MOSFET. What is this? This is your uh, I mean if you are discuss about the circuit diagram. So this is your input voltage or your you can say battery source that is DC source. This is your control switch. So you can use MOSFET or IC. If you are any control switch, this switch is controlled with the help of this gate. Pulse. This is the inductor, which is a digital device, as you know earlier. This is the uncontrolled switch that is diode. This is the capacitor, and this is one is the load terminal. So, what is the application of this converter? This converter is used where you require a fixed voltage. If it means if you want a fixed voltage and your input voltage is changed. then this converter is very much useful or you can say if your input voltage is fixed then you got a variable output voltage depending on your requirement so this converter is widely used in the application of photovoltaic cell microgrid electric vehicle charging stations electric vehicle drive and all so this circuit is basically work on two mode first of all we have to discuss about the circuit i mean what kind of what is the mode of the circuit so this is the two mode what is the mode that is in the first mode in the first mode what happen your switch your control switch is on your control switch is on means we have a short circuit here and your uncontrolled switch is off that is the open circuit why this uncontrolled switch on because this side voltage is greater than this side voltage so in this condition this inductor is charged because the circuit is completed like that and the all the super power i mean supply go is goes to the inductor and your inductor will start Uh, storing the energy and the direction is so bright this positive and negative terminals so this is the direction of your uh, i mean uh, storage so in the second mode when your control switch is off and your uncontrolled switch is on then this is your kind of energy source devices and we know that this is the inductor it means a device what is inductor inductor is the uh, inductor is oppose the the uh, rate of flow of uh, rate of change of current it means if the current is flow in uh, direction then it remains flow in the same direction this is the diode so this is the uh, inductor so current is remain flow in this direction only so when current is goes from this way so here it is flow like that so this is the loop of flowing of current So if it is it is the loop of flow and current, then what is the very notable point is that the output voltage direction is in upward side. What it means? It means that the negative is we we got ne uh, positive in bottom and negative in uh, in uh, up uh, in very top because you know we what we assume that if the current is flow, then intrinsic point is the positive point. So this is the positive point voltage. This is the negative point voltage. This all things uh, we have to much more understand in the when we discuss about, about in MATLAB. I mean, so this unidirectional bulb boost converter, we see that we have to control this switch. So this switch is controlled with the help of controller. And in this video lecture, I am discuss about the PI controller and PI control bulb boost converter. So unidirectional bulb boost converter is PI controller. So D value is generally zero. I will we we'll take D value is zero. You know why we taking D is generally zero. So PI controller generally we can use. What is the, this is the transfer? This is the 
uh, I mean, so function of uh, proportional controller, this is an integral controller, this is a derivative controller, and the, this is the property of uh, proportional integral and derivative controller. You know better, so uh, we are not right, I mean, I'm not wasting your time in that. So, this is the basic block diagram of. PID control unidirectional burst converter. converter. What is that? This, this is the output voltage. voltage. This, this is the output voltage of unidirectional burst converter. converter. We take this output voltage and compare the output voltage with the reference voltage, voltage and the, then the error signal is come. You, you know, know this thing in my control, control system. system and this, this error signal is go to with the previous PI controller and the output of PI controller is going to the okay, at a gate pulse uh, of the control. Switch. Let's begin with MATLAB and Simulink. This is the basic window of your MATLAB and Simulink. Now uh, open the bug boost converter. So this is the diagram of uh, unidirectional bug boost converter. You can arrange the all the element like uh, as so in your screen. Uh, I am discussing all the element one by one. This is what? This is your DC voltage source. If you don't know how to select, uh, how to go this element, so I just uh, recall you that if you want to choose any element, so what you can, for example, this is the DC voltage source. So what you can do, you just uh, write here DC voltage source. And click here. So you got a DC voltage source. I mean, if you want this element, then you just uh, click. Uh, uh, double click and, and, and right and you got the element this is the way so this is your DC voltage so as I discuss now if you want if you, want to, if you don't want to select your element like that then you just go on this this is what this is the library browser just click on this library browser and uh, another library uh, window is open like that and you just type DC voltage source here for example so and you just search it so once you search you got all the DC voltage source so if you have this voltage source you just here add block to this you just click on that and you form I mean I mean this block is go on your uh, your window yeah, yeah. you got it as got you find it Okay, you. I think you will well know how to select the all the element. So once you got all the element, you just uh, arrange this element like that. So I just uh, discuss one by one. This is what this is your DC voltage source. This is MOSFET. As you see, this is MOSFET. This is what this is your inductor. You don't got inductor directly. You just uh, search RLC. And you search RLC and you put the value of R and C is zero. So you got L value. This is diode, this is C, this is resistance, this is R value. This, this, is, what? this is voltage measurement device. So, uh, let's, uh, after voltage measurement, we are uh, using a display. This display is used to display what is the voltage we got. Then, yes, scope block, which is so the uh, uh, continuous uh, visualization of the voltage. So, we, as we discussed earlier, the output voltage is positive in bottom and negative in where? In the top. And if you want to change, and I mean, I mean if you want positive at top and negative in the bottom, then we need this arrangement. What is this arrangement? The output of this voltage measurement is going as an input in the controlled voltage source. You just write control voltage source and you found this uh, block. In control voltage source and the positive of control voltage source is connected with negative of voltage measurement and, and negative of uh, this uh, negative of this control voltage source is going as a in a positive voltage measurement and the output of voltage is what positive. So and uh, what is next? Next is that we just try to design controller. So. So this is the controlled circuit of so this is the controlled circuit of your unit converter. So in this circuit, you just see we take uh, output voltage here and we compare this output voltage to, to this reference voltage and error signal is generated. So this is the adder block. You just type add in, you got this block, and you see both are the positive. Why both positive? Because this is the negative voltage, and if you add negative voltage to positive voltage, then you got difference. So error signal will come, and this error signal is then go on goes with gain block, and this gain after that we connect it with PI controller, 
and uh, this is the uh, this PID control is the uh, signal is generated to externally so we have an external signal generator and this is the pulse generator and the frequency of signal generator is 5 hertz as you see there it means this circuit is worked with 5 kilohertz switching frequency output of PI controller then is compared with the your reference voltage and the overall output is going with the relay this is the relay block and the output of relay is go to the gate terminal so what is the relay relay will take the value one when the switch is on and zero when the switch is off and this is your on off point eps that is exponential value we take now uh, I'm just I'm trying, trying to show all the values. So, so what, what is the DC voltage? We we'll take DC voltage 100 volt. What, what is the L value? L value I'm taking the 10 e minus 6. This is your diode. This is your capacitor. Capacity value is 10 100 e minus 3. Your register it means your load is 100 ohm. So this is all thing. This is what this is the constant block. This is the scope block. All the element I'm discussing. This is the power GUI block and power GUI will taking the discrete. So I'm discussing all the element. If you have any problem or to uh, understand any kind of element, then you feel free to comment in the comment section and I will guide you. So so let's start with simulation. So we can see that our input voltage is 100 volt and our output voltage case we what we want is 57 volts so once we run this model we just see that what is the output so once uh, this model is run it will start giving the outputs and we just see their output is approximately 57 volt approximately 57 volt we got in the output what it means it means we give the input is 100 volt and we got the output as a 56 volt so it means this converter is as uh, act as a bug converter. Let's see what uh, we can uh, see in this um, output. So by double clicking in the scope code block, we uh, we uh, observe the what is the result. So if you see the result uh, very clearly, then we got that the output is minus 57 volt. As we discussed earlier, why we got a minus this minus 57 volt, and by using this arrangement, we got plus 57 volt. So if you double click in this uh, scope, then you can clearly see that we got plus 57 volt. It means this circuit is work as a buck converter. So in the next, if we try to check what have how it's work on this boost converter, so uh, let's see our input voltage is again we we just, we just keep it 100 volt and we want output is 198 volt. So uh, once we run this uh, uh, simulation and we try to check what is the output voltage. So let's see what happened after this uh, com compiling process. The running process is going on, and we just see we just try, uh, this model is try to achieve the 198 volt, and after some time it will uh, achieve the approximately uh, approximately the 198 volt. So you can see the output by double clicking the scope block for this, and if you see, then you got plus 198 volt. So it means at that time this converter is work as a boost converter because we give the input at 100 volt and we got the output is 198 volt. It means it's behave as a boost converter. What it means? It means a single converter is act as a buck converter and as a boost convert, uh, converter depending on the what is your reference voltage. If your reference voltage is higher than your input voltage then it acts as a boost converter and if your reference voltage is less than your input voltage then it's act as a buck converter so we uh, till now we just uh, see that what happened if we change the reference voltage for our research purpose let's uh, change the input voltage what it means it means our input our reference voltage is 57 volt and our input voltage is 100 volt let's see the input voltage suppose we keep input voltage 30 volt because uh, in some application what, what happened your input is going to be fluctuated for example if you are uh, uh, working with wind turbine application, if you are working with a solar panel application, then your input voltage of the converter is changed because, for example, if you are talk talking about the solar panel application, then depending on the uh, radiation of the sun, the, the output of solar panel is very. So if the output of solar panel is very and this converter is added with output of solar panel, then the input of this converter is very. So what happens if the input is converted is very? So previously we are taking 100 volt and now we are taking 30 volt and try to just see what happens. So if you are uh, take input as 30 volt and we uh, keep output same as 57 volt and we, if you run the, uh, this model, then we just see that our output is try to achieve 57 volt after some time. 
so after completing this what we are do we are just uh, double click on clicking on this scope block and we just see that we got uh, we got this 57 volt what is the conclusion the conclusion is that this converter will work as a buck or boost converter depending on depending on this reference signal this is the unidirectional buck boost converter because it, because this is the output terminal always this is the output terminal always you take output from this uh, terminal second thing we got if your input voltage is very depending on the uh, your condition and if you fix your reference voltage then this convert is then also this convert is work nicely so this is the all about your, your unidirectional bug boost converter so thank you everyone thank you for much, uh, watching me thank you all